Miguel. There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record as much. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. Fancy show guppies and some really awesome goldfish. Let's take a closer look. And here's the Pondscape Kitty. Meow. I don't see a price this is oh wait over here. Um Assorted Angels, eighteen ninety nine to twenty nine ninety nine, depending. Yeah, you know, she had them all in one bag, so they're probably all And this is a mother convict cichlid with her babies. See how good of a look I can get. Nami, let me see your kid. And there they are. There's maybe about 75, 100 of them in there, some. And here's Daddy. Paranoid and on the defense. There's a ton of goldfish and other stuff in here, and he's protecting his territory. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's on patrol. Dad is putting the guppies in the back of the car there. Okay, everybody, lie down on the floor and keep calm. It's a tropical fish. These goldies can stand the cold a lot better. Okay. We are on our way. And all the blizzard uh, <laughs> remains there. Blizzard scape! Yeah. Now, here's where I went to search and uh, yeah, church and school. Yes, yeah, search and school. Cthulhu is back. <laughs> Messiah Lutheran. Cactus cat, that's an Angelicus cat, but no, we don't have it. We have four-line Pimandellos, which are similar. But instead of spotted, you can tell them they're kind of they're blind. Oh, wow. Here's all that's left from the last stock. The Angelicus or the Pictus get ick so easy. These hold up. These have been selling good. Hey, Tony, check out what I got for you in the buckets. 
Look at that big white one. Mm hmm. Hey, a couple of red, one, one, two red lights, huh? maybe three. That's cool. Well, all those feeders you got, the, the, those other feeders you got, you should get a lot of red and white and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> whatever survives. Yeah, I know. Well, that's feeders. That's just the way it goes. It's feeders. Sur survival of the fittest. Yeah, that's about it. And there's your gups. Yeah. And how many guppies are there? 15 pair. 15 pair? That's 30 fish for 40 bucks. <laughs> you can get convict secrets in here with them too. Don't try this at home. Reserved only for professionals who know how to keep the fish getting along happy. Oops. <laughs> you thought you got him, but you missed? I got him. You're not swearing so much this time yet. Swearing in the Nine. Yeah, you're taking this out of several tanks, huh? Thought so. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. I mean, there's not enough pure strength well, coming through. Well, I got, I got some problem. three quarter blacks, and that would be a nice hit off for them, too. I just think the that's babies a big will thing. probably come out nice from a three quarter black for that. But I've got the black and the red tail, which is beautiful. Like you've got some in there. Yep. <laughs> These aren't ours. These are some that Tony and brought in from a private breeder. They're really nice. Oh, I've, I've seen our stock with um, pink tails and orange tails and all kinds of crazy tails. These are some nice ones. He got them from a private breeder, so it's pretty nice. Tony, did you sell the pair of Dempsey's? Oh, yeah. Cool. I only sold them. Yeah, I guess you got a breeder who is interested. Well, you had them there for like 119, didn't you? Hold well, on, they went out of sale. Oh, that's when you sold them. When they... Oh, yeah. Exactly, you were too high priced on the Dempsey's, but I didn't want to say anything. You look... Yeah. Yeah, but still, the economy really boils down to it, and you got to be adaptable on this stuff. You really do. Hey, he doesn't want to keep them forever, so he's got to sell them. Exactly. Got to adapt to the economy on this stuff. Now, it looks like he's got more catfish in here. He's got a couple more kitties. Yeah. Yeah, right in the oh, corner yeah, there. Yeah. And there's somebody always bringing in catch. Is <laughs> <laughs> somebody out there breeding them or just catching them or what are they doing? Yeah, they buy them small and then they close they them in the tank and then they want to get rid of them. Because they end up too big and eating everything else in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Katie, I'm going to be bringing the goldfishies up in a bucket. Want to see them? Okay, I'll be right back. I got the next 12 goldfish for Ocean Design out of that tank, and I'm going to be bringing upstairs before we go for Katie's review. I've already got the 12 goldfish packed okay. up. I just gotta get a, 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 a bag to put over the top. There's the fish. Hi, 
taking them there? Where oh, are you taking them? Same place we always take fish. Where do we always take fish? Um, at the fishy store. Yeah, but which one? Um, holding the side. Correct. Cause that's what they do. She's watching the fish and I'm videoing it. Alright. Alright, Dave, let's get out of here. Alright. Yeah, Katie, I gotta put a cover on these and then we're going, okay? Okay. Here we're going to deal with wonderful traffic as we merge on to the big oh, street. Look at that down there. Yeah. Hello, parking lot. Come on! Sure. Pretty much. What I like to say about Chicago traffic is, um, Half of them don't care if they hit you, and the other half are actively trying to. <laughs> price. So that's the magic price, huh? Apparently, Tony is going to be making all the comments $4.99 before the multicolor were... $7.99 and just the gold were $4.99, but at $4.99 they sell like hotcakes. So he's just, he's going to be marking them all. Marking them all at $4.99. Actually, here though, we get a lot of people like up. Europeans love Yeah, Polish love They like their swords and the guppies. How quickly have these been selling at $4.99? I'd say we sell at least probably six to eight a week, sometimes more. Nice. Beautiful. So $4.99 just seems to be the, the, magic, uh, the magic price That's there. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I put a pair of these in a little print. Yeah, I'm going to see if they'll braid in there and maybe see what happens. There. It takes a long time to raise them. strings I like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hear you. much better fish. Though. It's just you got to know how to in, in and out breed with them, otherwise it'll fizzle. You know what? The, the trick, the the ba when you get the babies, as they start separate. showing, you separate them. Now what you do is you take the male baby and you go back to mama. And you let them breed with mama. And then you take that offspring and breed it back again and your blood is solid. That's how that works. And then your blood is solid. So you breed the, the, the female or the male, baby male with and the mother. And the baby female. And the male and the baby <coughs> male with the mother. Papa's children, you breed them back, and then you breed them out again, and it's just because... Yeah, in bre inbreeding and outbreeding. People think they could just have a tank of guppies, let them go at it, oh, and, the, and then they're least. just going to keep can't. going fancy, but if you do it that way, with each generation, the bloodline dilutes, yep. and, or, you, and you just you end up with common pond. guppies or after a while. you have a pond where the, it's a natural separation. <clears throat> yeah. Too. Because you can have everybody together in a pond and nature takes its course. So you're saying and you can greet the males with the, with the mother and the females with the father? R right, the baby, their offspring. Their, offspring. their first offspring. Basically, the, the, the newer Just generation. What about the rest of them? Though, then, you know? Well, you could go like that, but then you got to come back again. Then you got to go with, um, let's see, it's baby, father, then those offspring, you breed back with the first young, okay? Incest so is the best the when you put your guppies so you to the test. The oh man, you need, it. to really do it good, you need about 30 tanks. Yeah. So you gotta maintain different uh, babies. Yeah, and yeah you gotta keep bad. track of it. With Pabble, it's got, it helps the tails a little bit because the Pabble's got B12 and the B12 is good for the tails. Oh, it makes them get bigger tails? A little bigger and stronger. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what most people who want to breed these sorts of fish don't realize. It takes a lot of fish, a lot of time, and, a lot of, yeah, and a lot you know, they think they could just have a couple of tanks and it's all good, but that's not how it works. 
how it works. <coughs> not how it works at all. The, the, the parents keep them breeding. Yeah, you, you can keep, keep them the breeding, but I'm saying to keep that bloodline strong, you got to breed back with the first yeah. young. Basically, the, the, the first young you breed to the parents. Right. And then the second set that comes out from them, you breed back with the yeah. first young again. Uh, with the first yeah. young. Right. Yeah, this, you get, then you get the parents again. Then you get the same Yeah. With the the simple, the simple point is that you breed the youngest generations with the oldest generations that produces back out again, right. and you keep going in that pattern. It's almost like breathing in, out, in, <laughs> out. So and, that's and why nobody does it because it takes too oh, much. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, because it's so much fr it's so much effort that people are going in, out, uh, and they just don't want to deal with it, you know. Unless you <coughs> then it'll take its course. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that all happens automatically in nature. I love that. I do. Yeah, I know, because all yeah. these Asians that, that we get all these nice companies from, they all fall apart. Yeah, are we? Because yeah, the they're growing those in ponds. I, I don't think that works. Well, when you well, I'm saying when you have good bloodlines, the nature will take its course in the pond. I see the Asians. What they do is take it where the guppies <coughs> come from in the rivers. They they make monster ponds. They're tanks. They block them off. And they've got their water flowing through there all the time, and they do it. It's amazing what they can breathe. They, they produce some beautiful they produce puppies, some beautiful, but, they but they're weak. They don't last. You're lucky to have them six months. Um, they tamper with them. The wholesaler, when I get them, they don't even. They, they end up coming down with something. They look great when I get them. And yeah, and then also they, yeah. they tamper with them, so we can't breed them here. Yeah. They tamper with them so that we can't breed them here. That's yeah, they, what they're they doing. give them something so they won't be produced. And then that that causes internal they had damage. Those purple dragons and those bred true in there, but the males came out and they, they, everybody bought the males and left them. <laughs> you almost have to do it. You got to do pairs. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got to do pairs too. That's, yeah, because they're trying to inbreed with something else. Well, no, these were all just purple dragons. Hmm. Hey, Dad, Tony's got some nice koi up here. But I only had like sea otters one there. Yeah. Hey Tony, let me know if you can get some good prices on little koi. Let me know if you can get some good prices on little koi. I'm not willing to pay a lot, but if you can go cheap per unit, I'll buy in bulk. Well, yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying, make sure you check. Separate that mail. Separate that mail. Bring it back later. Because as long as you have babies, and take the babies out. Separate them and then bring yeah. them back. Because as long as they're cheap, I'll buy a lot of them. If, if I get a female from the wholesaler, I'll breed him with the female right. from the wholesaler. Yeah. Right, right. But then once the babies come, then like I said, go back to the parents. And then yeah. back to the parents. And you don't want to you that. have them off somewhere. Any like four takes. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Tony, as long as they're cheap, I'll buy a lot of them. So whatever well, you can find in March, you know. i got to wait to see what they come Yeah, with. whatever you can, you can find. They don't get too small ones, though. Usually the ones they get are at least like that. They're not like tiny. I've never seen tiny. Yeah. Tiny. Nobody seems to sell them that small, but maybe because if they try to ship them that little, they're, they're hard probably to too ship. weak. Yeah. yeah. The way we usually do it. Hey, Dad, move aside. You're blocking the light source. Here they are, nice guppies. There's better lighting over at Ocean Design, so we'll see a better look at them over there. We're pulling into the lot for Ocean Design, and we got these big, huge mountain Put your lights on. Turn your lights on. Your lights. Big, huge snow drifts. These are like 15 to 20 foot tall snow mountains, as you can see. And there's Ocean Design. I mean, these things are taller than Tony's ceiling in here. That sounds easy. Insane. Okay, how about uh, $50 a week? Yeah, that's the blizzard for you. For money from your Harris interest checking account to your Harris savings account. So I'll be saving without even thinking about it. Exactly. And here's the back room of Ocean Design where we got the crickets and stuff. And here's Kevin putting some mice in there that are gonna end 
not the snake food. <laughs> yeah, I put this on YouTube. Uh, Ocean Design gets a lot of hits because of this. I'm more of a customer in flux. I'm, I'm one of the private breeders that sells to Ocean Design. I deal with fish. So. We, ju we just brought in some new ones now. Uh, goldfish and guppies. Over there. So if you want to take a look. <laughs> but yeah, I got the mice and this is a feeder tank with the crayfish in there and everything else. So this is just like the back room where all the miscellaneous stuff is kept. Yeah, where the where the fun, you know, all the all the hardcore sex with the hot chicks, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Precisely. Uh -huh. Here, walking over and in. Oh yay, people sure know how to drive, don't they? Whew, into ocean design. Hello, buddy. Whole pile of them in that corner down there. <laughs> the male doesn't like it that I'm around. <laughs> they are very protective. Last time I was in here um, cleaning up stuff and whatever, the male was trying to attack my hand. He's a ballsy little bitch. Ooh, they are deadly serious when they got a nest. Yep, it is. That big one. Big one. Yeah, it's a fishy in the water. You got a fishy yeah, like, do. We have customers that like an assortment of color of cups too, so yeah. you can go either way. These are pond raised. We just brought them in. We're one of the breeders. They do. They really do. Yeah, these guys look like their fins are in better shape than the last few you brought in. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're bigger they fins. They're a lot nicer, but you know. They're bi yeah, bigger like fins on these. Bigger fins on most of these. Well, it's a little squirt. Yeah, it happens sometimes. <laughs> they get big. Oh, they get big fast. Oh, and I even noticed they grow good in a tank this size because this ain't a small tank. A lot of Not by any means. Uh, our windshield's next, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's guppy time. There you go. Those are beautiful. See the gold and the females? Yeah. Red and gold. Now, what, are, are, is it different parents on these, or are these... Same parents. Same parents on all of them? Yeah. So you can tell by the, look by the colors of them. But the males fool me. I, like, I get this blue, and I get this, like, blue-black. It's actually uh -huh. not a black, it's actually a blue. If you got the right lighting. It's extremely blue. dark blue. Yeah. But it looks black. Yeah, look at that. Look at how red that is. Yep. Yeah, we raised some really good ones here. And then I get one of these colors that gets comes out. And these all came from the same parents? Yes. Because you see, what for some reason in guppies, uh, offspring can be it's, it's natural. But now you have stock and those are the ones. Two you have are are actually natural. I mean, I got them from you two right. years ago. Right. See, so See unless you get them where you know, like right. this here, this male and this female. Right. Is exactly, like the female may have been somebody else, and the male, so you get some of the right male, and then you get some of the male. Yeah. I mean, the, the, but their color is true. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I like I like true strains when you get the female and the male because they produce. Yeah. So, but these are these are happening. They are. They look nice. 
Yeah. Hey, see, see, see him, see like him right there? Actual hearts. See, see the one in the corner here that's got the, the light blue tail? Right. See how some of this tail is almost semi-transparent? Right. You can see right through it? Well, imagine the whole fish like that. That's what I was telling you about earlier. That'd be neat to see. You can find some. This yeah. is the original in the back there. That male in the back, right. that's original. And that's from... Yeah, because yeah, me and Dad have never seen semi-transparent guppies. Yeah, until the last couple of years, they just started showing up in the bloodline just out of nowhere. And if you think that that would sell good uh, with your customers, then, you know, we could see what happens and test the theory. What I did is I got a gold from here, and that's why you see me. That looks nice. Yeah, it's a nice, yeah, the red and the gold together. Yeah, because once we got in those red ones, we had the yellow females. See, those were two strains there. Yeah, now you're seeing better what we mean by Right. Yeah. Because you're really gonna feed them a lot of like good like like five prime Uh you know what I feed them snails. Yeah. Among other yeah. things. We are loaded with snails and I crush them and they gobble them up. Yeah. Well, not a lot of protein. Well, yeah, yeah, Tony. Now you see what what I was talking about when I say we raise fancy show guppies. We've had them better than this in the past. I'm sure. Oh God. Maybe you don't know. <laughs> well, I know as far as the shared past, anyway. Dad's been doing this since he was a kid. You know, when the dinosaurs were roaming the earth. See, now, like the fins that are nipped up, that's from fighting. Yeah. Yeah. They have guppy wars. Yeah, well, that's is that, But do you maintain the males and the females together, right? Right. And that's probably why. They really say the best way to split it out. Well, the males separate females. Females, Well, the I. Well, the, uh, actually, the ironic thing is that the males will still do it because they'll practice on each other when there's no female around. So it doesn't make a difference. We've got some awesome fish here over at Ocean Design. And we just got in a whole new, you know, barrage of goldfish here that look really awesome. And remember, folks, the price has been lowered to $4.99 for, for the multicolor and the gold. $4.99. If you go anywhere else in Chicagoland, you're going to see them for at least $9.99. You are not going to beat this price. There's no way. So come on into Ocean Design at 6500 West Irving Park Road. That's in Dunning Square Mall. And, um, you know, come come get these stuff. And if they're, if, if they're out of them, by the time you get them, don't worry, we're, we're always providing more. So, you know, sign up uh, to Tony's email list and I'm sure he'll let you know. Just ask the front desk when you come in. But yes, 6500 West Irving Park Road. You know, if you, if you want these, they're going to be $4.99 indefinitely. As long as three. Yeah, those females will fly out. Those are big. Yeah. So people will be like, oh, give me a female. Uh, we've, we've got bigger. They're our breeders. We've yeah, got, no, we've got, oh, no, we've, we've got bigger though. On no, actually they're not. No, what I mean by we got bigger, I don't mean we got older. I mean we got bigger. <laughs> but they're breeders. The pond, the pond will do it. Yeah. Bigger and older are not synonyms in, in the point that we're making here. Quite the opposite. Alright. Yeah. Nice. 
not be fooled. This is not friendliness. <laughs> He's trying to bite it. <laughs> nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Just add water to it and watch it. BAM! Yum. It's like an explosion. Yeah, I learned. Oh, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. You want water change? That's you all. You can't get my finger. Ha, 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 ha. Start attacking each other. You can't get my finger. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. That's what, I don't, that's what I don't personally like about red-eared sliders. They all got attitude problems. They're, real, they're almost impossible to tame. Painted turtles are a lot more friendly. They're more docile. Yeah, but the red-eared slider has always got this attitude problem. Yeah, but they're so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, personally. Little, little tough guys. He just, think, that's, that, he just thinks they're feet. He thinks that's true. You're just teasing. Yeah, but the, but the thing is, though, is if you try to pick him up, he'll get pissed off and try to bite you and whatever. I mean, the red-eared sliders just got this major attitude. They don't like making friends with anything other than other red-eared right. sliders. But nobody. yeah, but pa <laughs> but painted turtles are super friendly. They'll let them pet you on the head and everything. Yeah, but this little guy, he won't let you pet him on the head. He'll be like, screw you, and try to take a chunk out of your finger. <laughs> Too aggressive. <laughs> Aggressively. <laughs> Well, tonight was a really good night. Not only did we sell guppies and some really awesome goldfish as well, both really awesome, but we also gave you, the viewing audience, a bit of a crash course on how to breed guppies. So, see you next time.